Children with autism or Asperger's syndrome, sometimes called autism spectrum disorder or ASD, can be characterised as having deficits in social interaction and communication ability. Now, if you're in a classroom, a busy classroom with lots of social activity going on, uh, having a deficit in social communication abilities can seriously impact upon uh, your ability to be able to negotiate your needs with the teacher. One of the ways of helping children with ASD in the classroom is to introduce a computer-based tutor which is tailored to their individual needs and also their abilities. So within this project so this what we've done doing. is we've created a tutor with some novel interface features that aims to help children's learning. There are several key elements from this project. The first is to identify whether children with autism spectrum disorder can be design partners. We wanted to involve the children with ASD right from the very beginning. Um, and in small groups, we have involved the children in something called participatory design. We, these young ladies come in from Bath University, come in, give us a bit of information. And then we go off and we draw what, what we think in our heads and then we come out on a piece of paper and they basically take a little bits out and put it in there and a little masking and they put it all together. So the car would go, so you would see. We provided a whole range of art based materials to allow them to contribute in a very visual way to the design process. They used these uh, visualisation tools to demonstrate to us exactly how they would like the computer screen to look, how they would like it to work, uh, what should happen when they got a question right, what should happen when they got a question wrong. They provided us with all this information that we then integrated into a, a prototype and got children to evaluate those prototypes. So it was an ongoing iterative process with the children with autism spectrum disorder themselves refining the design cycle after cycle. Okay, shall we now use the flip camera to explain what we've done on the map and your ideas? Is that okay? Yes, I am. Do I press the red button to play? Yes. Red button to play and red button to stop. Okay. Right. You start off here at multiplication and you get your car as a bad drawing of a car. You can customise it. Then you move up to another island, got a picture of Mr. Belvedere there. Then you move up to another island. This is a um, an avatar that I decided to make. He's got spoons, he's got an England flag, he's on Facebook, and um, he's wearing a massive tracksuit. Uh, initially, the there were problems where each child had come up with different ideas and they all wanted to take their ideas forward. So we had to devise ways specifically for children with ASD to allow them to contribute uh, collectively to a single design. Um, first of all, we talked about designing the set. One well, of my ideas was inside a car, and they used that they have with two people talking. And um, from that, we did different voices, what the characters would say. We've presented what children with ASD have designed to the parents, and they've been flabbergasted at how creative their children have been. So we have a system that's been designed by children with ASD for children with ASD. So the next stage of the research is to finish the development stage, roll it out to schools and then test whether it actually works. So does it actually support uh, children in their individual learning needs? Does it supplement teaching in the classroom? And what kind of learning trajectory uh, children with ASD experience with the tutor? In the future, the intention is that we would build tutors for disciplines that autistic children might not have specific abilities and propensities for, and that will really test whether the tutoring system personalised to their needs will work. Being involved in the project has been hugely rewarding. Working with the children with ASD uh, and seeing them being able to contribute is more than we could have hoped for. It's been a very exciting experience and it's been wonderful to see how the children have enjoyed being engaged within the research process. And I think that's it. For now. <laughs> <laughs>